My name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308 Negro Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. This is my confession. You understood what I've just said to you. I have cancer. Lung cancer. Inoperable. My wife is seven months pregnant with a baby we didn't intend. My 15-year-old son has cerebral palsy. I am an extremely overqualified high school chemistry teacher. When I can work, I make $43,700 per year. Walter White, oh, my <laughs> back at Caltech. He was, he was just the master of crystallography. I have watched all of my colleagues and friends surpass me in every way imaginable, and within 18 months, I will be dead. I have spent my whole life scared. My entire life. It just seems I never, you know, had a, had a real say about any of it. Ever since my diagnosis, I sleep just fine. I don't want to choke down 30 or 40 pills every single day and lose my hair and lie around too tired to get up. Some, uh, some dead man, some artificially alive, just marking time. It's got to say that there is a way. And we spend all that money and Am I supposed to leave you with all that debt? Uh, hey, how much money is that? Uh, it's about 700 grand. It's a pretty good haul. It's easy money. So we catch it. <laughs> well, I'll just say the word and uh, I'll take you on a ride along. You watch us knock down a meth lab. Get a little excitement in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Something. How'd you find me? You're still in our filing system. Pinkman. DEA took all your money, your lab. You got nothing. Square one. But you know the business. And I know the chemistry. I'm thinking... Maybe you and I could partner up. 50-50. Yes, 50-50. Partners, we will produce a chemically pure and stable product that performs as advertised. We got new players in town. Now we don't know who they are, where they come from, but they possess an extremely high skill set. Me personally, Thinking Albuquerque just might have a new king bit. And what did I say, man? This guy can cook. This is pure glass. You're a goddamn artist. I'm an artist. You're right, man. You're all right, we're gonna make a lot of money together. You have to tell me what's really going on right now. You're acting like nothing is going on. You are not how I remember you from class. I mean, like, not at all. Tell me why you're doing this. I am awake. Chemistry is, well, technically, chemistry is the study of matter. But I prefer to see it as the study of change. Elliot told me about the cancer. I'm so sorry. He made me offer to pay for the treatment. You have to accept. What? You told him about the cancer, didn't you? Didn't you? <sighs> I can't believe it. So, how was your day? Are you here to work or to be staring at the skies? Come on. Make those tires shine, huh? I mean, we're making money. Why can't you just be satisfied with the way oh, it is? Jesus! Just throw some fucking balls! Who is this person? What do you know about him? Say he's my guy. Your guy? There's this uh, mystery man I've been, uh, been chasing for the better part of a year. Cooks the purest meth that uh, me or anyone else has ever seen. Goes by the name of Heisenberg. It is the purest 
most chemically sound product on the market anywhere. When you're coming home so late and, and we're just left wondering where you are. Walt, is there anything else you're holding back from your family? You're a drug dealer. Cocaine? Methamphetamine. Making a change in my life is what it is. I'm at some something of a crossroads. And it's brought me to a realization. I am not a criminal. Where did he come from? Criminals like the one you... Uh, I mean, what do you think it is that makes them who they are? It's funny, isn't it? How we draw that line. Well, what's legal? What's illegal? You know, you keep telling me that I don't have it in me. Well, maybe, but maybe not. I need you to look me in the eye and tell me right now, are you in danger? Walt, please, let's both of us stop trying to justify this whole thing and admit you're in danger. If you're in danger, wait, then wait, it wait, would stop, be stop, absolute, then we stop, have stop, to- Stop, stop, stop. You keep saying that word, danger. Danger. Okay, but you no, just and I have never used that word. I said things were complicated. What happened? Because this isn't you. You're Please. not some hardened criminal, Walt. You are in over your head. That's what we tell them. That's the truth. That's not the truth. Of course it is. School teacher, cancer, desperate for money. Okay, we're done. Here. Roped into working for unable to even quit. Walt. I don't know what you think you're doing here. Trust me. This line of work doesn't suit you. What would you know about me? I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. Now, say my name. Eisenberg. The Great. Heisenberg and his million dollar truck. You're goddamn right. Mr. White, he's the devil. You know, he is. He is smarter than you. He is luckier than you. He's a monster. I understand if you know the full extent of this, what he's done. Not just the meth cooking, but the, the lives he's destroyed. You could have shut your mouth, cook and made as much money as you ever needed. It was perfect, but no, you just had to blow it up. You and your pride and your ego. You just had to be the man. If you'd done your job, known your place, we'd all be fine right now. Everything you did, you did for your family. All the sacrifices that I have made for this family. A man provides for his family. This costs me. one more time that you did this for the family. I did it for me. I feel so sorry for you, Walt. Fuck you. You can't keep getting away with this! Tell me what you did, Walter! He poisoned a little kid. An eight-year-old boy just has to move! I'm the man who killed Gus Fring. You bombed a nursing home. I ran over those gangbangers. I killed Emilio and Crazy Eight. I am nothing. No one. How are you going to save our kids from this terrible environment? What are you going to do? What's the plan? I don't know. The methylamine keeps flowing no matter what. We're done. Never give up control. And I say we're done. I'm done. No, you're not. You're not done. You're not leaving. Jesse! You are a time bomb. Tick, tick, tick. And I have no intention of being around for the book. <laughs> have my children living in a house where dealing drugs and hurting people and killing people is shrugged off as shit happens. You killed me the same way you killed Mike. The cigarette. What? The Russian cigarette! You out here still after me! And over that asshole, Mr. Wayne!
you. No, Uncle Hank, you killed him. No, what you did to mom, you asshole. Why are you still alive? Why don't you just, just die already? Just, just die. Well, maybe you should just go ahead and die then. Jesse, you asked if I was in the meth business or the money business. Neither. I'm in the Empire business. I'm not your lawyer anymore. I'm nobody's lawyer. The fun's over. I made a mistake. And it's my own fault. And judging from the things you and other folks have written about him, your dad must be quite a guy. Yeah, he is. He, he's the best. I can't speak to this Heisenberg that, that, that people refer to. But... Whatever, whatever he became, the, the sweet, kind, brilliant man that we once knew, long ago, he's gone. I have it coming. I have it coming. I deserve this. There's got to be another way. There isn't. There was. But now there isn't. It's not over. <coughs> it's over. I'm sorry, Mike. This this whole thing could have been avoided. This is just fucked up. just lived right up to that moment and not one second more that would have been perfect you're really lucky you know that you didn't have to wait your whole life to do something special <laughs> 